Hello friends, it's me Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and I'm coming to you with a new Pen Pal with Me video. I'm going to be making this project which was inspired by and sent to the same person, <laughs> my friend back from Australia. Um, so I will be showing you how I made mine, how I made, decorated and filled mine, but I also want to notify you that the original tutorial by, like I said, my friend Beck will be linked in the description box down below if you want to check out her version versions. I believe there were multiple. <laughs> um, the reason why I decided to make one this day is the meal that I'm showing you here, which is funnily enough from another friend, uh, Emma from the UK. She made, as you can see, a mini version Version. and I didn't want to show you because that is the reason the reason why I decided to look for that tutorial and make my own version I also did want to show you this not only because I think it's cute but because I really like that you can make this mail in any size you like so it's basically an, it looks like an envelope but it has a little twist and some pockets on the back love that washi tape I wonder where it is now <laughs> Um, I do have to admit that I made this a long, long time ago. The fact that I look so summery, have such tan hands, and later on in the video also some um, nail polish on gives it away. But I made this in summer, in the summer of 2022, so it has been quite a while. What I show you here is the supplies I'm using. And the notebook is um, a, an idea notebook. So I saw Beck's video and I didn't want to craft that day, I suppose. So I just wrote down or made a mini version uh, to keep in my notebook so that I could come back to it later. And then apparently today was the day. So you can make this in any size, but I'm using a 12 by 12 paper. You don't really have to measure or um, I'm basically just kind of eyeballing it. So the first thing you do is you find the middle, which is what I'm doing here. Find the middle. You can use a marker if you like. Uh, as you can see, I'm just pinching the paper to indicate where the middle is. And then what you do is you grab your lower half and you fold it up, but don't fold it all the way up. Um, just fold, like leave, as you can see, the green strip is my the inside of my paper. Just leave like a centimeter or an inch. It doesn't matter. Leave as much as you want to leave. Um, and then you create this triangle shape. The reason why I created that fold line first is because I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally fold it crooked. I am struggling a lot here, apparently. I really, I'm like measuring and everything, but you don't have to. It's actually really simple. What you do next, I made a trial version. You can do that if you like. But what you do next is you basically, you have your left flap and your right flap and you fold both of them into the middle to just over where they meet. So just over the middle half. It says here three quarters. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's so much easier. Just fold the left flap and the right flap in to meet the middle. I'm just making sure that I fold it correctly. I should have watched Beck's tutorial. It's so much easier than this. But as you can see, the left flap and the right flap, they meet in the middle and they are, I fold them slightly over so that you create um, the two pockets in the front or in the back, depending on how you look at it. Trying to put into words what I'm doing is really difficult, but it's super simple, as you can see. Then you'd flip it around and you fold over the two envelope flaps, but I'm gonna do the same, I'm sorry for the top of my head, I'm gonna do the same of what I did initially and fold them so that you can still see the green paper. So this is, I'm gonna call that the front, I'm gonna call this envelope part the back. Um, but like I said, it's probably easiest if you just look at what I'm doing. You don't have to do that, I suppose, but, um, yeah. And then what I did is I fold one flap in and then I fold it back and I am unsure. And this is my problem. I always like tutorials. I always like seeing other people make certain things, but I don't actually pay attention enough to the point where I can actually follow the tutorial. I don't remember if Beck did this or if she folded it backwards. So I'm just kind of making it my own. But I realized that I really like that um, 
hint of green kind of peeking out. I really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And then I found this circular die cut and I realized that looked really nice up there. So I'm gonna use that as a closure. <clears throat> So what I'm doing here is I'm just gluing the bottom flap down. Trying to explain this is really difficult, but I swear this project was so easy to make. I kind of want to make another one. And the good thing about this is you need a square piece of paper. So mine is 12 by 12. If yours is eight by eight, you make a smaller version. If yours is six by six, it still works. It's still the same tutorial. That's why I love having no measurements. You can just use whatever you have laying around and use it if your paper is, I don't know, six and seven eighths of an inch by six and seven eighths of an inch, it still works because you just need a square piece of paper and no measurements. Mm. So what I did here is I'm making it really difficult, but I traced the corner of the envelope <clears throat> to make sure I wouldn't put glue there. And then I glued the circular die cut all around so that basically you can open the flap still Whoop, there you see, I held it in place with some washi tape. I made a whole mess. This could definitely have been an easier process. I should have just made a V shape with glue so that you could still tuck that envelope flap back there. But somehow I ended up being very difficult. But yeah, that is a tutorial. I definitely did not explain this as well as I'm sure Beck did. <laughs> so I'm sorry Beck for butchering your tutorial, but I did really love your idea. So I tried to make it my own and send it to you all those years ago. And then some of the goodies I'm using are sent to me by Chris a long time ago, such as these butterflies. They're like, that's my cat feeding machine. Did you hear that? Probably. Okay, you can probably hear it, but Sage is on a diet, so I'm using an automatic feeder so that I do not overfeed her. <laughs> and we're in a fight because she loves food as much as I do. She does not want to be on a diet. But anyway, um, Chris sent me the sticker book, I believe, and the butterfly stickers, and it's so amazing. This is a collection called Bloom Street by... Paige Evans and it's right up my alley. Absolutely love it. I don't know why, like I made this project. I think I made another project, but then I didn't make anything else. Wow, this is so me. This is right up every, this is like everything I love, butterflies and flowers and pastel colors. So I don't know why it's just laying there in my craft room, but yep, that's just, I'm a collector. I suppose I collect, I love having all of these pretty paper goodies, but end up not using them often enough. I haven't crafted, I've said this all of my videos, but I haven't crafted. I have crafted, but I haven't really been crafty lately. It's, it sucks. It's just like seasonal depression is hitting me hard and I don't really know. I know that crafting is gonna make me feel better, but I can't get myself to actually do it. So I'm just gonna ignore that and hopefully it'll come back. I feel like I say that like seven times every year that my crafty mojo is gone. I just, I don't know how there's these people who can craft and be creative every day of the year. <laughs> With me, it just comes and goes. But yeah, this decorating, looking at it is making me so happy because it's just all going so fluently and it's it feels so easy and fun. And you have all these butterflies and I have all the different elements and the stickers and everything. And I feel like this process is just so easy. Um, and I know that my videos, they can be deceiving because I speed everything up four times. And then sometimes people write in my letters, like I wish I could create the way you do. I wish I was as fast. And I'm like, okay, but that's like, you're only seeing the part, the half of the, the process, right? Because when I'm not filming, I'm usually still working on the same project, but just, you know, you don't see that. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still looking at everything I have. So <laughs> I'm not actually that fast. I wish I was. Um, this is my letter that I ended up including. And I also included, so as you can see, I didn't even mention it, but there, that's a big pocket back there, the main pocket. And then I included the sticker sheet from album Love and Made. I think I ended up putting something else in. And then you have this, I'm calling this the front, although maybe the other side makes more sense as the front, I don't know. Um, and we're gonna, I am gonna decorate it, but the majority is just going to be gifts. 
because as you can see you can tuck goodies into all of those pockets <clears throat> they're gonna be peeking out unless you have really tiny goodies but i kind of like that look of goodies peeking out such as these large flower stickers just think it looks really nice so instead of like decorating it a lot i'm just using the goodies as decoration which is really fun and it, I've had this problem before, but the sticker actually says, hey, you rock, but because the you is in a lighter font, it doesn't show up on camera. So I've, I've showed that sticker before and someone was really sure it said, hey, rock. <laughs> like I was, I was sending back a sticker that said, hey, rock. It doesn't, I don't know. So this is just me curating all the goodies. Those hard stickers, I'm obsessed with them. I think I purchased two sticker sheets with the hearts. I sent one to my pen pal Cheryl and I sent one to Beck and I still think they're so adorable. They're pink glittery hearts. Absolutely love that. I wanted to try and find some original goodies because Beck always has the cutest things, cutest things. So I wanted to try and see if I could um, find some things that hopefully she doesn't have <laughs> so i these are my i always forget the name wood veneers are they called veneers i don't know the wooden shapes they're really cute i'm sending back some flowers and some other things and these are quite difficult to send because of course they make your mail go bulky so fast so i'm trying to lay them out in the pocket so that i can like squeeze them next to each other so they don't it's not too heavy or too heavy the weight doesn't change it's not too fat to send and i also think it once again looks really cute in that vellum pocket realizing now i sent you loads of stickers back <laughs> oh yeah this is really cute i actually really like that it was a a clear or a milky wax seal with a hydrangea dried how a real dried hydrangea flower in it on a craft paper tag Beck always makes the prettiest, this is like basically a tribute to you this whole video Beck, but Beck always makes the cutest wax seals and I, I don't know, I wanted to send her one of my own. I ended up adding a little ribbon, a little blue ribbon to match the blue of that, um, the flower. But as you can see, I'm really struggling <laughs> and I'm off, off camera, <laughs> but I thought that would go nicely. So once again, something cute peeking out. Um, what I did just now is weigh my mail because I can send our stamps go by weight. So I was weighing to see how much it was already weighing and then trying to find um, some goodies to match the remaining weight. <clears throat> I ended up finding, I don't know, I should still have more, but adding those um, little heart shape, like felt, almost felt like heart shapes stickers once again lots of hearts in this and then a cute little wax wax why do i keep saying that washi tape sample by these pretty washi tapes from little lefty lou uh also peeking out i think that is really cute and then i'm just once again rummaging through my stash to see if i can find some more matching goodies yeah i really really like this meal and it's kind of funny because before I was editing this, I was watching a... Uh, I was on YouTube and I found a video of Beck on my home page. And it basically says that we are once again in... Uh, like connected <laughs> because she's in a creative rut. She hasn't been crafting or she has been crafting, but I don't think happy mail. And neither am I. So once again, Beck, I feel like we are in sync. Which is not fun, I will admit, but... Uh, yeah, let's hope we feel crafty again soon. Watching me create this is actually really fun because sometimes I forget that I have this fun and that I, I, w I don't want to say talent, but I, I forget that I have the capability of crafting something cute and then seeing myself do it is almost like a reminder, like, okay, oh, you did it so you can do it again. But then again, there's no forcing it, it'll come back. These are some cute enamel stickers, dots. I think the colors match this collection really nicely. And then the decorations that I'm using are a combination of actual die cuts that belong to this collection and printed die cuts that also belong to this collection, but that I fussy cut by hand. I very often do this, you can buy 
digital collections you buy them so it's completely legal <laughs> um, you buy a digital collection and then you can print the illustrations as often as you like and then i just cut them out by hand and then i have an unlimited supply of craft supplies which is not good for me because i have so much already so here is the envelope i ended up sending it out in i actually really like this i love that tulip die cut that uh flower bag thingy yeah, it's so cute. I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I hope you like it as well. If you're still here, let me know in a comment down below what you have been crafting and how you have been doing. I would love to hear. Um, send some crafty mojo my way, please. And also Baxway. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well share. Um, if you do not already, you can follow me here on YouTube. You can subscribe for all of my videos. You can follow me on Instagram because I post a ton of stuff there as well, as well as reminders that I have uploaded something new to YouTube. You can be an awesome person and join my Patreon as well to support the channel and get a ton of extra content. And yeah, I guess I will see you when I see you. Wishing you all a lovely day and... Stay crafty. Okay, bye.